Hello from City Inc Express. On this video I will explain how to refill a HP339 cartridge. This refill kit is equivalent in volume to around two and a half cartridges. How much would that normally cost you? We also offer an XL version of this kit with double the amount of ink. Saving even more. There are two ways to refill a cartridge. Option one is through the label. The red dot here shows the refill hole. If you rub your finger over this area and press down you will be able to feel the hole underneath. Option 2 is with no label fitted. Again the red dots show the refill points. In the genuine carts the HP339 normally contains 21ml of ink. This is what the top of the cartridge looks like. If you were to remove the lid, this is what is underneath. Can you see the sponge? This is normally saturated with ink. And is the part we are refilling. Place the tissue underneath the cartridge and place the blunt fill needle on the syringe. If you are refilling the cart with a label on, pierce the hole with the included pin. In the marked position here, if your cartridge has no label on, the ink can be injected directly into these holes. You can refill the standard cart with 21 milliliters of ink. When you insert the syringe, push it down then draw it back a fraction to prevent the sponge from blocking the tube. Then inject slowly in the holes shown. Giving the sponge time to soak it up. This will also minimize the risk of an overfill. Do not fill in any holes not indicated as there may be no sponge underneath. After refilling the cartridge wipe any excess ink from the top. Making sure it's dry. Then place the adhesive stickers over the refill hole and smooth over with thumb or finger to create an airtight seal. With the cartridge full of ink. It just needs priming which aids ink flow. You have a clip and rubber seal which looks like this. Load the seal into the clamp with the narrow lip at the back. Then lock the cartridge in place so it's clipped in fully. If you look underneath the clamp you can see this hole. This is your priming hole where you will insert your syringe to draw out a small amount of ink and prime. It's as easy as that. After insertion into the printer you will be presented with a screen similar to this one. It warns of a depleted or used cartridge. Clicking yes would disable the cartridge and clicking no would allow you to continue to print. This is a different version of the same screen depending on your printer model. Clicking ok will allow you to continue to print. You can now look forward to reducing your printing costs. Thanks for watching.